Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a patient who was born in the 1970s who had severe headaches, and they came in for an MRI of the brain to see what was going on. And this is a side view we're going to start with where we can see the patient in profile. We can see their nose off on the left here, tongue, um, is this big area here. This is the lips in front, and the brain, the cerebrum, is up here. This is the cerebellum just to get oriented. And on this view, we can see a dark band, this is called the corpus callosum, it joins the right and left cerebral hemispheres together. Now if we roll off of the midline, off to the left hand side, we see the white matter and gray matter. So the gray matter is around the edge, it's ribbon-like and goes around the periphery. And the white matter is actually dark on this sequence. All this dark uniform stuff is the white matter. And you may be able to appreciate these little white specks. These are what we call white matter lesions. They're not in the gray matter, not the ribbon, they're in the white matter. And we see these scattered throughout the, uh, throughout the left cerebral hemisphere. If we go on the opposite side, the right cerebral hemisphere, here's one, here's one, here's one. So multiple scattered white matter lesions. If we go off further, we can see others. And now we're going to do a view where we're going to slice through the brain like this. We're going to start at the top, and we'll go down through the brain. And this will be able to see both right and left hemispheres at the same time. And here we are. This is near the top of the brain. Uh, this is the very top here. And if we go down, we see the gray matter around the outside, that ribbon-like area, and we see the uniform white matter centrally. And again, you can appreciate these little white specks scattered around. Here's one, here's one, here's one. And if we come down, we see more and more of these scattered around here, here. And these are classic, what we call nonspecific white matter lesions, probably related to migraine headaches. And patients with migraines get these little white matter specks. They're usually in the frontal lobes, often peripheral. Some of them can be deep. And this patient has sort of a classic appearance of the bilateral, symmetric, predominantly frontal white matter lesions. And when we see this and they have the clinical history of headaches, then we say these are likely related to vascular migraines. And this is something we see every single day, very, very common findings. Now these white matter lesions, though they look um, kind of scary here, they are not associated with any cognitive decline. So they are disconcerting, but um, they are just related to the headaches themselves. And this is just one more sequence where they don't show up quite as well, but you do see these little small scattered specks. And you can see this white area here. This is fluid within the ventricles. The ventricles are normal in size. And we can also see the patient's eyes here. So this is a classic example of a patient with vascular migraines. And I thank you very much.